Hi, this is David Turner. We're in the uh, my booth here at Vegas Interbike 2009. We're looking at some of the changes for 2010, so it's not going to take very long to get through this. We introduced these bikes uh, one year ago. We're going to look at the Sultan first. The uh, DW Link was new last year, exciting. Um, being only a year old, we're not making a lot of changes, just minor revisions to uh, what we think is already a great line. Uh, one of the things, I think one of the most notable things about the 2010 stuff will be the addition of a uh, painted rear end. All of our rear ends now will be paint to match. We uh, did some study and asked dealers, some consumers, etc., and everybody seems to like it. So now that we're here, uh, the rest of the dealers that have um, now gotten to see this are, are, are pretty excited about that. I know, it's not going to take much. The other thing we changed, uh, we separated the cable guides so they're no longer doubles, they're singles. So you can get a very tight uh, pull on the zip tie, keep the lines nice and clean. Some people uh, really get uh, into how uh, their lines look. We're not trying to compete with this as a race bike or a cross country, um, uh, you know, a short ride bike. This is a rough terrain bike. We put 120 millimeters in the rear ends to match what it is right now the longest travel uh, easily available front forks for 29ers. The um, geometry is set up a little bit more relaxed, a little higher riding position so you can ride more technical train without having to uh, you know, be bent over too far and um, you know, strain in the neck to look at the next rock pile, so to speak. Uh, one thing that uh, we're really pushing this year um, is the addition of complete bikes. In the past, people have looked at the price of Turner frames and, and been a little bit in shock. Well, in some cases, very in shock. But when you look at the price of a complete bike built up with name brand components from you know, Race Face or Easton, of course, almost complete Shimano groups with formula brakes, folding Kenda tires, um, DT Swiss rims, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, we're using top grade stuff front to back. Then the, uh, the price of the bike becomes a lot more reasonable. In fact, it's a deal compared to a lot of the imports that uh, are probably working on much higher margins. So what we're trying to offer is a great deal to a US made product. And now we uh, move over to the five spot. As you can see, we got the uh, painted to match rear ends. Um, we also, you know, like the Sultan, we went to the individual cable guides here, getting the nice uh, tight straight lines. Um, like I was saying over on the Sultan, we're, we're offering the complete bikes. This bike shows that we are offering the, uh, we call this our trail kit. Basically retail price on this is right at $4,000. You know, it has a QR15, 150 millimeter travel Fox fork. It's a SLX, Shimano SLX drivetrain, race face uh, cockpit with a WTB seat, Kenda folding tires, all top drawer stuff for a bike of this price category. The thing about the, the Turner bike that people don't seem to understand is that we've been doing this for over 15 years now. Our pivot system will outlast, uh, in most cases, three to five times what our competitors will. And it doesn't sound like such a big deal over the life of a bike, but when you take your uh, you know, brand X or Y, you know, imported bike with uh, ball bearings into the local bike shop to get rebuilt, you're looking at $175 parts and labor. You do that once a year on a competitor's bike, that starts making one of those supposedly good deals uh, pretty close to the price of a high quality US made Turner bike with Kevlar composite journal bearings or some call bushings that we've been using for so long. We use uh, grease fittings, new for 2009, and of course carrying through into this uh, coming season. We uh, are using uh, uh, custom made stainless steel threaded grease fittings. We've been using grease fittings since the very first production bike. But uh, a little over a year ago, we designed and had manufactured stainless steel grease fittings that had threads on them. Instead of just tapping them in to a press fit hole, which worked most of the time, but with these, you can high, use high pressure on your grease gun to force the grease in without the grease fitting popping off. Of course, we're using the DW Link on all our bikes now. Um, we did the uh, big introduction for DW last year. Seems like everybody has now accepted the fact that uh, Dave Weagle's kinematics are the best pedaling fully active bikes that they have ridden. And of course, this isn't just my opinion. 
We just got done uh, earlier this week with two days of outdoor demo. People were coming back literally just almost babbling on about how the five spot or the Sultan Flex, whatever they had ridden compared to a comparable uh, travel and intended model of another brand. These bikes just out pedal them. In the rough, they stay active and when they're uh, being pedaled hard up a grade, you don't feel the bob. Here is the first, first prototype RFX. There is no, and I'm gonna answer this question right away and I'll probably answer it again, there is no timeline on when this will go into production. The uh, level of abuse that these longer travel bikes, like the DHR that we've been testing for a solid year now, and even the RFX will see in the field has changed from when we, me, did so much work with the single pivot horse link style bikes. Moving to the DW link as we did a year ago, I really wanna make sure that we have lots of testing, lots of real world testing on all the pieces before we send anything into production. Uh, Turner Bikes has been in business for 15 years and I have always strived to do durable goods. I'm not in the fashion business. I don't try to change things every year just to keep everybody happy, you know, and give them a little pat on the butt and say, oh, this is the new shit. And we put a, you know, three degree bend in something. This is a durable good and there are RFXs that have been out there since the late 90s. That would be the last century. Um, and they're still running strong. This bike has to carry on that reputation, plus deal with the higher loads that the uh, free ride um, video generation has uh, created. Basically all of us, uh, pretty much all of us, are riding more aggressively now than this same person, and in my case, me, did even a few years back. So this RFX will have to be tougher, last as long, um, to put up with today's riding styles than its predecessors did. Hey, I wanna thank you guys for coming by the booth, checking out some of the stuff we have this year. Um, I'm a big fan of MTBR. The, uh, it seems like we have a bunch of people on MTBR, the big fan of Turner Bikes, and uh, I'm glad we can you know, get together like this and uh, learn a little bit more about what's coming next year.